It's early morning in the Caribbean island of Antigua, and some island dwellers are waking up and preparing to move. These migratory birds, called cattle egrets, can fly for hundreds of miles, and they are thought to be responsible for spreading one of the biggest threats to livestock farming in the Caribbean, and potentially further afield, the tropical bontic. Jeremiah Anthony, who couldn't make a living as a livestock farmer, has just finished his shift as night watchman at a beachfront hotel. Before going to bed, he'll spend an hour or two tending to the few cows he still owns. He checks them carefully for tick bites. This morning, like every morning, cruise ships are bringing thousands of tourists into Heritage Harbour in Antigua's capital, St. John's. They will spend a day here, having fun while sustaining the island's economy and generating employment. Yet almost everything they eat has been imported. The tropical bontic first came to the Caribbean island of Guadeloupe from Senegal in about 1750 and was carried to other islands by the cattle egret. The bites of the bontic are painful and cause extreme discomfort in cows, sheep and goats. Two associated diseases, heart water and dermatophilosis, can prove fatal. And the economic implications of spread in and beyond the Caribbean are cause for great concern. The US, as well as other countries in the Americas, do not want the tropical bond tick to enter in because it could be devastating to our animal livestock populations. Um, in particular, it would be devastating to uh, the cattle population, sheep and goats, but also wildlife in these, these countries, including the United States. The Caribbean Amblyoma Program, known as CAP, funded over the years by the EU, FAO, EFAD, USDA and European donors, has been working to eradicate the tropical bond tick with an environmentally friendly miracle liquid known as Betacol Poron. Part-time farmer Fitzmorgan Greenaway regularly uses Betacol, and the only sheep to escape past treatments was bitten by a tropical bond tick and is now suffering from dermatophilosis. I would say that over the years, all farmers have lost a lot of animals, from cattle to sheep and goats. Um, through to this um, particular bontic. Um, you'd have flocks of sheep that um, I have encountered with other farmers who would maybe be a hundred coming on to the season of the tick. And then after the season is end, they'll be down to maybe 30, 40. So far, six out of nine Cap Islands, including St. Lucia and Barbados, have been declared provisionally free of the tick. The program is now focusing on heavily infested Antigua with a full-scale eradication campaign. Lessons learned from previous attempts in the 90s have led to a change in approach. By 2000, we had realized we had far too many stray animals, that stray cattle particularly, that were not getting any poor on at all. Nobody was caring for them and they were acting as a reservoir for the ticks. So the ticks kept coming back. Stray animals are a common sight in Antigua. Drought and a housing boom have made grazing land scarce, so many farmers leave their animals free to roam. They cause damage to property and sometimes even road accidents. And if untreated, they could be carrying and spreading the tropical bontic. CAP is working to ensure that all animals are registered, tagged, branded with their owner's ID, and regularly treated with betacol. Eradication will only be possible when all the strays are under control. Really, for an eradication to be anywhere close to successful, you need to be treating 95 to 90 percent, 97 percent of your animals 
at all times. And of course, 100% is even what we prefer. And with the number of stray roaming livestock we have in Antigua, then that cannot be achieved. And it becomes quite important to make sure that the animals that we have are under control and that the owners have access to them in order to be able to treat them with betacol. Even farmers who do look after their animals sometimes have trouble keeping them under control. A vet assistant from the CAP team is trying to sedate this angry bull loose in a residential area. He was called out by the owner, Hudson Simon. He was in the past up this week, up to Sunday he was in there with them. But some calls over, one was in heat and he move on. He don't have much of a manners. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to another edition of Talking Agriculture. Dr. Jeffrey, what is the status right now as it relates to the tropical bontics? Eradication depends on farmer participation, so a broad-based information campaign is underway with television programs and farmer phone-ins and talk shows broadcast on local radio stations. Road signs across the island CAP sponsored cricket matches and even a Calypso song are all making sure everybody is well informed about the tick eradication campaign and ready to take part. Meanwhile, CAP's success across the Caribbean is galvanizing parallel programs in the French West Indies. Ticks are controlled since um, tens of years but uh, more recently, uh, because of the Caribbean and Bioma program, the, the new objective is really to try to eradicate the ticks from the, the French islands. So at the moment, the ticks are controlled. The tick infection rate is not so high. Uh, even if the, uh, the infested, uh, infested farms are widespread uh, all over the, the islands, but the, we are far from having eradicated those ticks from the French islands, especially from Guadeloupe. Constant monitoring and surveillance is a key element of the program. The CAP team gathers information for registering farmers, animal numbers, betacol distribution and treatment. The data is then put into a program called Intertrace. A second computer program, TickInfo, is a database especially developed by CAP for recording tropical bontic surveillance data throughout the Caribbean. This software can be used um, basically as, as a, 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 a template for other animal disease surveillance in the Caribbean um, because from the, the experiences that we've had with um, CAP and what have you, we've been able to gain information, um, analysis, um, outputs that would be pertinent to other um, animal disease surveillance um, programs. Tropical bontix can survive in the environment for almost two years, so the risk of reinfestation between neighboring farmers or neighboring islands is constant. Cooperation on all levels and the ongoing support of major donor USDA and, it is hoped, other donors will allow CAP to build on the progress already made. And the impact of the program will be felt long after the last tick is gone. I think we've built up an infrastructure within the veterinary units in the different countries that should any other disaster, be it foot and mouth disease or BSE or anything else, ever come into a country. They are much more aware of how to operate in terms of quarantine, surveillance, emergency responses and so on. Antigua imports almost everything that is consumed by around 70,000 Antiguans and 350,000 tourists that visit the island each year. So there's great potential for growth for the local meat and milk industry. The eradication of the tropical bontic would enable livestock farmers to work on expanding and developing the market. It also would give confidence to farmers, livestock farmers, that they can get into the, the production, and, and in this case, small-scale production, 
of small ruminants and um, uh, cattle either for milk or the, the local tourist industry for beef or for export within the, 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 the region. Albert Lewis has been a livestock farmer for 55 years. In the old days, he used to fight the tropical Bontic with seawater and car oil. But now a member of the CAP team is showing him the correct way to handle, dose and apply betacol poron. He's keen to learn and confident that the Caribbean Amblyoma program is making a difference. You go by the instruction that they give you to look after your animal, right? And if everybody have animals and they care about their animals or they want to keep animals, they will have to do the same thing. You know what I mean? It will be better everybody cooperate together by doing what they say to do because it's a very good thing that comes to Antigua.